Well, I'm running into someone here. Who could this be? Katie! Hey, hello, Carol. Hello, Katie! How are you? I'm good. Who is that here? This is Cookie. Hi, Cookie. Oh my goodness, and Cookie is a traveling companion? Yes, he is. He's my sidekick. Oh, and he, what kind of dog is he? He is a German Spitz. He's a little bit larger than a Palm. Okay. And he's a rescue. Oh, and how he's cool. 12 years old. Oh my. We're aging together gracefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Well, I'm going to do a tour of your minivan that you built yourself. Well, I did. It's a no build, but it really works well for the both of us. Okay, well, let's go over and let's... Come on and take a peek. Okay, let's go. All let's right. go look at it. More and more people are seeking alternatives to astronomical rents, some by choice, some out of necessity. I'm going to introduce you today to a woman who is thinking ahead in anticipation of the possibility of future rent increases. The best part of this conversion by Katie from Camping Katie on YouTube is that she did this conversion using mostly items she already had and at a cost of around $200, not including a power station. But even the power station, she got at a bargain. So come on, let's check this out. And I hope you get plenty of ideas if you are someone who may be needing to become a nomad soon. Come on, let's go and meet her. I just really wanted to do a tour of your minivan. It's a, you're calling it a no build build and I'm just really loving it. Thank you. Now, can you tell me something about yourself? Um, I'm home based in Colorado uh -huh. and Cookie and I are just out, we're exploring different places off the beaten path and luckily we just got to meet a lot of other like-minded people. Well, we're going to go inside, it's getting really windy and we'll uh, get some more information about you inside. Okay. Now you were telling me that with your home base right now that you're in a situation where you have reasonable rent. Yes, I'm very, very blessed. But your landlord is much older. Yes. And you're anticipating that should anything happen to your landlord, the family would sell the property. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I foresee that. Um, and that kind of like prompted me. I've been watching videos about mm -hmm. van life and that prompted me to get myself prepared right um i don't know what will happen but if the situation comes up i will not work two jobs to pay rent and to have money in my pocket right i will check out <laughs> i am ready huh so you got this ready in anticipation should something happen that you have some place to have a roof over your head oh yeah yeah and and i'm not even sad about it well why don't we look at uh, why don't we take a little tour okay. and see what you have here. All right. So you have your bed. Do you want to show us your bed and how you got that fixed up? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, you're making your bed off of the back seat of the van? That's correct, yes. Let me and, look and see. And this is going to give us, we have a lot of open space the rest of the day. And oh, okay. when my bed is up. Okay. So I'm backing up so we can see. Oh, yeah, it is a lot of space there. Yep. You could even have enough space for a table there. Yep, and um, Cookie can stretch out. I actually bathe there, everything. Okay. And we just don't feel so claustrophobic. So now you have, what is that underneath the, is that a mattress underneath there, or what is that? This? Uh-huh. These are just pillows to okay. help kind of- Cushion it a bit? It with- Oh, okay, with my, okay. Um, um, ottoman <laughs> okay it's got my toilet stuff and everything in okay. there and and you can fit across here yes you want me to show you yeah i would love for you to show us and i'm five five okay my, i use a travel pillow okay so So 
So you're completely, oh wow. And this is what, this is a Honda Odyssey? Yes, an 06. And you're completely stretched out? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And then you just, you use a sleeping bag over you, blankets, what do you use over? I use blankets, a comforter, or a little lighter blanket. Okay, and you just, that's your bed. That's so, it. So, and you still, so you still have, is it one or two seats that are seat belted back there? Just, it's a double. Okay. And I think it would only seat belt one, maybe two, I don't know. Okay, so you can actually carry then at least two passengers. Yes. Yeah. And not have to break down your your van. Yes. Well, let's look at, see what else you have. So you have your little cooking space over here. Mm -hmm. This is my little kitchen area. That was important to me to have it accessible. Okay. And I had this old table at home and I use a 20 pound propane tank. Oh, you have a 20 pound in here? Oh, okay. Oh, I see it back. I can you do. pull that out so we can see it? Yeah. Now, do you have it hooked up to anything? Oh yeah, to my stove. Oh, you have it hooked up to your stove? I do. Okay. But my stove, it doesn't, on the towel, it, it doesn't stays move. put. Yeah. Okay. And all of this is tied up. It's And oh. my propane tank is tied up. Okay. It is not going to fly across. Okay. And then I and see. And I keep it turned off. Now I see you have water jugs there. Is that how you carry your water? Well, I have some in jugs. I've got more of the gallon jugs and then I have a six gallon up front. Okay. Now do you have running water or you use only the jugs? No, just the jugs. Okay. Yeah. And then now for your food, where's your food stored? Okay. So my coffee and quick things like that are in this basket along okay. with my paper plates and towels and wipes. And then back here, in a plastic tub is all my canned goods. And well, let's whatnot. go back and we'll look back there okay. from the back. So basically you have a garage back here in the back? Yes. Okay, let's look and see. And I just keep my clothes in a suitcase. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen anyone that keeps their clothes in their van in a suitcase. I know. That's <laughs> very cool. And I've got a couple of extra tubs. So you've got a very deep well back here. Yes. So you could even build something back here if you wanted to. I could, yeah. My goal is to get a storage for the roof. Oh, okay, okay. And even have more room. Okay. And then over here is you were saying your kitchen stuff? Yes. Okay. So this is just the, the food, the dry goods. Oh, okay. I just keep them in a tub. Now, do you have any refrigeration? No refrigeration. Okay, so None what? At all. what do you mainly cook or eat then? Well, I'll keep fresh fruit mm -hmm. and tomatoes. Um, I'll eat a lot of soup. I love vegetable okay. soup. Um, when I'm in cooler climate, mm -hmm. I can keep my eggs, butter, okay. and cheese. cheese. Okay. And So you can make omelets or oh, yeah. pancakes yeah. or whatever. Grilled okay. cheese sandwiches. Okay. Grilled cheese and tomato. All right. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Okay. One of the things that I was really interested in was your power system and how economical it is. Can you share that? I'd be happy to. Um, these are off brands. Okay. And I bought them about a year ago off of eBay. Okay, what brands are they? Can you show us? All right, you're going to show us. You said the brand. So this is an Egen Star? Egen Engine Star. Engine Star? Uh-huh. And how many, what's it, watts? It, yes, it's 350 or 360 watts. And how much did it cost? <laughs> it was like 160 or 170 Get out of here. And you've had it for almost a year, you were telling yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's working it. like a charm. It is. And, and where did you get it? Off of eBay. It was okay. brand new. Wow. And then you don't know the brand, but this was off eBay too of your 100 watt solar panel. Yeah, it was $80. Brand so new. for under $250, you have 100 watt um, of solar mm -hmm. and panels. And it holds up very nicely. Very and you have over 300 about 350 you said 350 or 360 yeah and this was for 250 dollars for the entire thing and i thought i didn't have anything to lose wow instead of investing in one of the name brands uh-huh i wanted to try one of these and at that price i mean as much as i've used them i'm 
I'm satisfied. So now I'm looking over here, and maybe we can figure it out. It has a V or something a on the V and an I. So like v, six six it's or V V V V I R. Let me turn it around. V V I R. I don't know what. Oh, it looks like V I V I. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I wish I could give more information, but I don't have that. But for under two hundred and fifty dollars, a portable solar panel and three over 350 watts of solar that's amazing it is and it runs everything what do you run on it on um, my laptop my phone a fan a hair straightener oh my goodness um and you were telling me also you can just put your phone right on top and it charges on top yeah and it, the handle's flush and flat wow you can lay your phone here and it'll automatically charge it well you know this meetup i've learned so much <laughs> about new gadgets and devices too so well thank you your thank garage you so much carol and it looks like basically you your build really didn't cost anything i bought i have spent money on things that i needed to take with me like your you, you know your, your solar power and stuff but as far as the build you no. just built it into the van That's the way it was it. this final one i've spent money doing two different beds uh -huh. but it just took too much room and there was no negative space so the what worked was the no cost bed yes. yeah. so i'm looking so the only thing i can see that you really spent money other than your power system was on the little thing that the little shelf that holds your um butane stove no, I had that. Oh, you had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to find something that you spend some money my, on. My shower thing. Oh, okay. You no, know, and the shower. Oh, pump. I want to show the shower. Can you bring the shower out? Yeah. Um, Before we go on to looking at the shower, yes. I'm coming back around here because you have a little bit of carpet here. And then you do have some wood that you put down and stapled some carpet on in order to cover up where you took the seats out. Yes. And you said that all together cost about $70. Just about. It's, well, it's very under 100 So that really, from what I've seen, is all that you spent on the build. Yeah, that's it. So there you is, have... <laughs> there is no major investment. So you have a build and a home for under... A hundred dollars the build part and then the other money is just spent on the components like the stove the propane the mattress, the mattress. but yeah. but as far as um, those items a lot of people don't might use just uh, butane so they just have maybe two or three dollars per can of you paint oh my goodness I know it doesn't take a lot it really does and then when you're out you know this is my third time being out so I've been you know removing what I don't want, getting mm -hmm. and accumulating what I right. do want that'll make our life a little easier. But it doesn't, you don't have to spend three to $5,000 no. building out your building. bed. Number one, you're not going to like it down the road because you're not going to have room to move. And you're going to change it several <laughs> times anyhow. Yes. Show me the shower. I love this idea. It really works. If I wouldn't have done this, I, I don't think I could use it. It wouldn't have been usable for me because, you know, we have to really watch our water. Okay. So you just drop that down. It's the water pump. Uh -huh. USB charge. Do okay. not get that wet, of course. And then you have your shower head. That works great. But this thing was pumping quickly. So, so. I went to, I cut it in half. Okay. And went to Ace Hardware. Mm -hmm. And the man there put this valve together for me. Oh, wow. So I can adjust the water flow. So you can also turn it completely off. Oh yeah, yeah. So you have a valve on your, you just cut it on either side and then put the valve in between. That's it. That's brilliant. That is and brilliant. And now it's usable. Wow. It would not have been usable before because I wouldn't have been able to keep enough water because this thing pumps quickly. You could have even, you could even put that up, hang it up somewhere oh, and yeah. turn that valve on and off. Yep. It comes with a little thing. If I, a little suction cup thing that I Wow. Want you can use that with that crazy shower that I tried to yes, get I Tim to make. <laughs> now, what is the brand on this? This is a... 
Carol found it yesterday. Oh, there oh. we go. So it's a Ur, Urpro? U R P R O. Yes. And about how much was the shower? It was um, 20 something. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Just add a valve and you've got. Oh and my it's, goodness. It, it works great. Okay. Love it. It is wonderful for doing my hair. Well, thank you so much, Katie. Thank and you. what's your channel again? Camping with Katie. All right. Camping with a K. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we will see you out on the road Thank you, and Carol. you're out here practicing for what may come. Hey, I'm going to be ready. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for coming to the meetup and we will see you down the road. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.